Welcome to Shopify Enthusiastic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to focus in designing your first Shopify store in just 10 minutes, maybe less. So let's do this really, really easy, quick and fast. So first of all, what you want to do is to choose a captivating theme once you are inside Shopify. This is an actual website that we are creating so far, but today we're going to be uh, starting totally from scratch. So for that, guys, I'm going to go directly into Shopify. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description if you wanted to get started totally for free than having a huge deal inside of Shopify. So once you clicked down below, it's going to be asking you how you wanted to get started. If you're just starting or if you're already selling online and into posting. This is totally optional for you guys. So try to customize this as your own needed and then go now into continue. Now this is part where you wanted to choose the specific business location uh, in order to continue. In this case, I'm going to go for, let's say United States and hit now into next. You want to make sure that you have the actual right country and then later on choosing an account if you don't have an account it's going to be asking you to create one just provide an email provide a passcode and then you're actually good to go now this is the part where you want to choose an actual theme now here start by logging into your shopify administrator tool in our case we are now inside the dashboard inside the dashboard you can see that we have the ready to sell and we have the to do list so what you wanted to do first of all is to focus and choosing an online store so let's go directly into online store into the low pod and here let's go and focus directly inside the theme editor today we're not going to be focusing into let's say creating an, an online website today we're going to be designing the actual website so today what you wanted to do is to choose the specific theme you wanted to since this is totally for free let's say that we wanted to choose one of this um color section so in this case i'm going to scroll all my way up and only go for let's say i don't know maybe something like this something easy to use something uh fast and of course something that you can customize like really really fast so now that you choose the actual theme what you want to do is to customize your store appearance so with this theme selected it's time to tailor this to your actual branding in the customization panel uh you can see of course guys in this actual website uh, that we are creating that we do have we do have three elements that is going to be really important to get started with a website first of all your logo second of all your color is schemed and third of all your design of your website we have created our first design so you can see that we have like a template so we can get started by adding our own stuff so uh customizing our store experience is not going to be that hard just focus into the little part where it says theme settings Inside the theme settings, we can get started with logo, adding colors, changing the typography, changing the layout, the animations, and much more. In this case, what I wanted to do is to focus first of all into the colors. So as you should see here, we have different schemes where we can change the different scheme and colors. So if you wanted to add your own, go into add scheme, and it's going to be asking you what is the actual background. Uh, if you wanted to go for a gradient, the text color, solid button background, solid button label, outline button, and the shadow. So once you choose your actual scheme, just go back and I'm going to be using this later. Now into the typography, it's going to be helping you to select something that can speed store a little bit. And of course, looking great depending on what is your actual niche and all of that. So let's say for example that I go for this one select and check out how my store has been changing uh, so far so i go let's say scrolling a little bit down and i choose something else that relates a little bit with my uh with my website try to choose an actual website section an actual typography that everybody can read it looks great so far but uh, what i wanted to do is to focus into what people can actually read so here is my actual fund size 100 percent that is actually really great. I'm going to just leave this like that and then we are actually good to go. Now what I wanted to do is to focus into the add a hero images and banners. I'm going to hit now into save. Uh, as you should see here, we can add our own personal logo, our favicon image and much more elements. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Canva. Now Canva is an amazing place to get started by adding media, products, ads, uh logos and much more so if you go directly inside canva.com and create your very first account you can go directly into create a design 
and you can go into custom size for example usually what I do to have a really great um, let's say uh, pixelation is go for 1000 by 1000 now that we're here into the 1000 what you wanted to do is to go directly inside the applications inside applications what I do is to click resist search Canva apps and I go for logo now this is going to be showing you this uh, application what I use is this logo maker the Canva helping me to describe the logo I wanted to create so just include words object color shapes uh, of what you're actually looking for so let's say for example that we are selling I don't know maybe video games we are selling uh, guitar instruments we are selling clothes we are selling whatever stuff comes into your mind at this point, another solution, another application that I can give you that can help you with your actual website is the namelix.com. Here what you can do is to create and of course look how for name styles for your website. So for example, let's say that I go for select a name style and I want to look how for short phrases, evocative, compound words or whatever. So go inside real words, I select medium and here or brand information let's say for example that add any keywords that might relate to your idea or your business so let's say that we are selling I go for generate so what this application is going to be generating is names for my website and a design for that website so you can choose all of this website one that you like the best for example let's say Laurel there's Louvre there's Velvet there's cluster there's belly and much more so and now here is my logo creation as you should see, it actually looks really great. So what I'm going to be doing here is to make this bigger. Show this and download this as a transparent background. So now I have my logo. I have now the name of my website and now I have the colors. I can now implement this into my website. Here into logo, let's go for select image. Upload your image. Here it is. And here we go. Now let's get now into done. And here is my logo. Now here inside the Favicon image, I can do exactly the same thing. Hit now into done. And there we go. Now let's hit now into save. Let's go back into exit. And now let's go into settings and scroll all the way down to going on brand. Inside brand, what you want to do is to add everything about your store. And we're actually good to go. So it's taking shape, our website actually looking great so far. So now let's set up a feature collection. So what you want to do now that you have your actual website, uh, let's say design it. What you want to do is to implement stuff directly into your website. Now I'm going to hit into save and moving on into the feature collection. Highlighting your best offerings, head to online store and click into customize as we are in here. Locate the section for feature collection and choose the one you wanted to showcase to your homepage. In this case, here are inside the feature products. Now here is going to be asking us which is the actual collection you wanted to add. If you don't have any product, you can always save of course everything, go back, go into your products and create your very first products and pull them and add it in here. I can even add collections. For example, here's only the homepage where I can add more collections. For example, let's say that I do have necklace. Now configuring the navigation menus. Now streaming light the navigation for a seamless user experience in the customization panel, we wanted to go into navigation inside the online store. If you focus here into navigation, you wanted to go for the menus. So here we have the main menu and here we can customize more stuff as you're getting started with. For example, the home, the catalog and the contact. So instead of catalog, let's say that I go for all products and go into apply changes and there we go it actually looks great now previewing and final adjustment before we grab the app take a moment to preview your store click into preview to see how it looks into the desktop and mobile once you hit here inside this eye it says view your online store so we created something really easy so far what is left to be done of course is to add it our products is to add uh, our payment method and maybe a few elements for our website when you're just getting started to add different products and the contact information and all of that. We have an actual bunch of tutorials speaking about Shopify for all of this stuff, let's say step by step to go little by little. But so far we have now designed an actual website and it actually looks really great. 
these websites that I just told you, for example, Canva, for example, Namelist, are some that can be helping you to get started with your actual branding totally for free if you don't know how to get started with. So there you have it, guys, a really easy, easy way to get started with your actual website in no time. So guys, there you have it. This is a breath taking Shopify store. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining us today here to a visual, stunning and successful Shopify journey. Hopefully guys, we can all see you next time.